Hey, what's up guys? Landon here, and welcome to another Let's Play episode. But before we get started, I do want to go over some really cool things that I'm really pumped about. So first off, guys, a awesome company came out with a brand new game, Heroes, and if you guys want to download it, it's in the description down below. If you guys want to check it out, it's free. And they're actually flying Pat, Godson, and I out to LA to go to E3. So I'm not sure if any of you guys are going to E3, but if you are, I, we were all going to meet you and do a bunch of fun stuff. So that is really, really cool, so I'm really excited about that. So expect some videos coming out with Pat and Godson in the future. So that's going to be real, real fun. So there's that, so make sure you guys check those things out. And if you guys want to see some gameplay for Heroes, it'll be on my second channel, Landon Plays. Link is in the description as well. Alright, let's get into it. So there you see, look at our gold, 7.3 million, just rocking it. So guys, I just want to show you guys my attack log. Look at this. Just freaking... Huge loot, just ridiculous. I've been using the Balloonian comp and just making so, so much golden elixir. I've just been focusing on gold to get up my archer towers and my air defenses because I'm trying to max out my base. So I actually did a little bit of math here. So for my last 10 attacks, I actually made 4,539,261 gold if you include my 90,000 of each loot bonus. And look how much dark elixir, 2,500, 2,000, 3,300. And I'm in Masters 2, so for you guys that, that for you guys that don't know, we go to the, the league. Where's the trophy? There it is. I get 500 eli dark elixir bonus, 90,000 gold, and 90,000 elixir. So I'm just making a ton of freaking loot. So I'm actually averaging a 453,000 gold per raid. So for today's episode, let's grab one archer tower up. We're getting really close. We only have two left to get to max level one is upgrading right there and that's all of our archer towers then we have our air defenses and then all of our defenses are maxed out so then we just have like our dark elixir drill we have some heroes to go up and we have walls and we have a few other random buildings but we're getting very close to maxing out so we might do a little quest to max out series that might come out soon and I'm also guys gonna be streaming this Thursday night so if you guys wanna come by Probably 6 p.m., maybe 7, something around that, Eastern Standard Time. I'll do a video probably 30 minutes before, letting you guys know, Thursday night stream on twitch.tv slash noteworthygames. So, guys, let's get into it. I will see you guys when we start the raid. All right, guys, we got our first battle. We're going to take on Nana from Vanderwerfs. So this is why I'm taking on this base. It looks pretty upgraded, but all of the gold storages are at the front, so I doubt I'm going to be able to get that two-star town hall. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get a victory, but... The goal is to get a 50% victory and just take out these four gold storages at the bottom of the base. So first things first, I'm going to draw out the Archer Queen. Let's get rid of her. Just going to draw her out to the side. Have a good time with her. What I really like to do... Oh, nice. Okay, we got a good area right here where we can kill her. I like to just throw out my clan troops and kill her with that. Because that's really not wasting too many of my good troops. I don't think I have two good clan troops right now, so we're going to have to send out a few more of my minions to help the Archer Queen go down and pop. She dead. So now we're gonna do a little two-sided mini circle. I'm actually gonna drop a, a free, oh, I missed, that's bad. That was a bad free spell. I tried to get that expo and the air defense down, but no worries because we have a rage spell that can go in and truck it. So now I'm gonna freeze the Inferno Towers along with those expos. And now that a good chunk of the base is gone, I'm going to drop my heroes to come in and clean up, get a lot of that loot. We've already got a ton of it. Those minions are cleaning up the left side. Looks like we're going to be able to clean up both storages and easily grab that 50%, which is all we need. So there are my archer queens about to get hit by that king. It's done. Um, Do we want to end it here? Yeah, it looks like it. Perfect. So we got a nice 477,000 gold plus that 90,000 loot bonus. Almost filled our storages. This this strategy is crazy. Just I'm finding huge, huge loot in Masters 2. And if you saw that, it's really not that hard. I even messed up with a free spell and I still managed to get a really, really nice raid. So that was our first battle, and that is all we need to get we'll get this Archer Tower. The bottom right. Boom. Archer Tower is going up to max. And actually guys, I want to show you guys one of my other battles, the mega mega loot. Look at this. Four hundred and twenty two thousand gold. 414,000 elixir and 3,382 dark elixir plus that 90 of each loot bonus. So I saw this base and I'm like, look at those pumps, they are massively filled up. So 
So I had two sectors of balloons on each side, followed of course by the minions. I raid spelled each of them to get rid of that air defense. And this guy had all of his expos pointed down, so I, was, I just had to go for this. Because as soon as as soon as soon those air defenses were out, I could freeze those Inferno Towers, which also had the Teslas inside, which was really nice. Which let me get a huge, just all of those defenses in the bottom are just totally gone. And my balloons are still going in to get rid of those Inferno Towers. So now my king and queen just run right towards the center and are just going to be able to clean up this base and just take all of the loot, snag that town hall, and just demolish it. Really, really lucky that that Inferno Tower ran out of juice because he was packing quite a punch. But just the Bolivian strategy just destroyed some really high level bases too, which people are being pretty surprised about because Bolivians really used... I mean, it's looked more as a farming comp or like a way to barely get 50% for like Town Hall 9s that are attacking really high level bases, but it's really not viewed as like a kind of a trucking strategy. And I've been having a lot of success doing it. So we might do another push pretty soon because we're getting close to maxing out our defenses and then we're going to get some walls up. I'm going to try to max out my walls, not max out, but get them all to a, let's see, to level, probably to level 9. Because we're actually pretty close. I mean... If I just farmed a lot and boosted all my storages and just went wall, raid after raid after raid, I might do a video of that. Just getting wall after wall after wall after wall because each wall is a million, which is really only like two raids for me, which is really not bad. And the ballooning comp is not that expensive. So right now, let's try to get a wall or two and we'll wrap up this video. I will see you guys in the next raid. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure to show us some love by smacking that like button. Alright guys, we found our next base. This is a little hard. Oh, it's so cute. We're gonna destroy it. Aww. So let's get out the Archer Queen. He has level 1 air defenses. This is gonna be mean. I feel bad about wrecking this guy. Let's see if we can get a 3 star. That's what I want. That's what I really want. Let's get out that Archer Queen. Good. She's aggroed. Look, like all the defenses can barely even kill one of my balloons. Oh, I forgot I had only balloons in my clan castle. That's kind of a problem. Let's just get rid of that Archer Queen. No worries, awesome. Right, let's get to that. The only thing that's actually going to be troublesome is those air, is those inferno towers in the middle. So let's just send our troops out. Troops out. Come on, guys, you got this. I'm just going to put a freeze right there. Freeze those three key defenses. That's going to pack a punch. We need my we need my king to do some dams. It's my king to go ham. That's what I need. All right, so both those inferno and the. And the, both Inferno Towers are frozen. Their king is dead. My king and queen are still alive. Woohoo! Let me get rid of that Inferno Tower right there. Raid's going pretty well. It looks like we should be able to get most of that loot. If not, you definitely get that Town Hall as well. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to 3-star. We do have both the king and the queen's abilities, and we have quite a few minions left alive. So it's looking pretty good. As long as the Archer Queen doesn't be stupid right now, we're golden. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to be able to get it. Because as soon as this king breaks through this one wall, I'm just going to iron fist him up, which means he's going to be a baller. And now I don't want the queen to die, so I'm going to use her ability. And it looks like we are going to get a three-star in Masters League. That's how we do it, guys. GG. Not the best base. It's cute. Maybe Valentine's Day. Give it to your female clasher in your life, but just not having it. 410,000 gold plus that 90. Brings me to another 500k gold raid. Just sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's get another battle for you guys. And I think we'll wrap this video up. And guys, a bunch of new stuff is coming out soon. A new challenge is coming out. A, I told you guys the stream Thursday night. We're going to be doing a new new series, which I kind of, I've done it before. I've done it on live streams. But Real Talk series is coming out this weekend as well. And I talked to you about um the stuff coming out with Godson and Pat real soon. So guys, let's get one more raid. Hopefully get... One more wall to level 9, <laughs> and that's going to wrap up this Let's Play. Just mega, mega, mega loot. Hey guys, what's up? Last raid here, freaking mega loot. Look at that, 552. It's a million loot raid. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of it, but I should get a lot. So let's pull out that queen. Come on, queen. Come and play with us. Sweet. All right, we got the queen. I'd actually like to take out this archer tower real fast. If I can get rid of that too, that'd be super nice. Come on, did we get it? Did we get it? Come on, Archer Queen. Okay. So the Archer the Archer Queen is going down. The Archer Tower is already down. Those clan troops for a nice little evasion. I actually used a lot of our minions, though. Oh, that Wizard Tower is going to hurt. Oh, that's going to hurt, guys. That's going to hurt. Okay. Things aren't going too great. But we should be able to get a lot of that loot. Just going to send a 
Little raid spell up in there. Breaking through, breaking through. Gonna drop a freeze. Oh, that freeze spells are so good with the balloon comp. It just works so nicely because it just freezes those inferno towers that pack such a large punch and just allows us to take them out. Hopefully, a lot of those balloons just take. Oh, look at all that gold going down. That's my gold. That's my gold. Oh, King is down. He's not watching him. Archer Queen's taking some hits as well. Oh wow, Archer Queen's getting getting murked. <laughs> Can our balloons pull clutch? Archer Queen's doing some great work. Is shooting the wall over here. Wow, she's doing some awesome, awesome work. <laughs> just not smart. Just not having it. Wow, doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get that star. Well, we still got a massive amount of loot in this raid. Just shows that every raid isn't perfect. It's not a totally perfect comp. We're still alive. That one archer. So we're gonna surrender right here. So we still got, even though we lost and we did kind of a fail, it's still 300,000 gold, just proving how effective this strategy is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A bunch of stuff is coming soon. So I will see you guys next time. Be safe, enjoy your night, and peace.